What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and I can't believe I have to make this video. So for those who aren't aware, a while ago, three years ago, I posted a video called Titans Go! Teen Titans Battle Blitz, which was just an at casual video I did to showcase that I had Teen Titans Battle Blitz, the old flash fighting game from the original cartoon network teen titans game up and running again because it was really fun as not a bite <laughs> and apparently a lot of people thought so uh considering it has 4,000 views and 48 likes which is pretty good by my standards um i originally then went forward and actually wrote how to do this uh the first way i posted uh didn't work anymore it stopped working after a while and then someone else said in in the comments oh no it was a it was a video right here special thanks to this video uh that showed a way better way of doing this using a program called infinity infinity for those who don't know is basically a giant project dedicated to uh saving and uh uh, like keeping flash content alive uh despite the fact that you know flash is no longer supported in most things well i say most things but i mean really mean anything nowadays um and i wrote it out so the original method for getting this game to work no longer works uh however i did find an infinitely easier method download oh no it's flashpoint not infinity sorry oh no uh Okay, it was, uh, but that was the different thing. Pick whichever you have room for, set it up, and then use the search bar to find Battle Blitz. If you picked Infinity, give it a moment to download, then enjoy. I felt like these were pretty straightforward instructions. Uh, unfortunately, though, as it turns out, uh, some people just, um, didn't understand it. Uh... I've had several people come in. I've had a couple people come into the Discord that have helped to get it work. I've had people continuously ask me in the comments how to get this to work. And it's like, okay, I've got no problem helping people figure this out. But on the other hand, it's like, it's not that hard to figure out. I literally just described all you had to do. I did not figure that there was a lot more to that. So, for every person who's either struggling with the idea of how to use their computer and how to use these programs, or is just too brain dead to figure out how to do it, figure out which category you're in or which one is less offensive, take your pick. Um, I'm going to show you, in depth, how to do this. So, first things first, open Flashpoint. Yay, Flashpoint. Follow me by Flashpoint to play games will be detected as a virus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually how a lot of stuff goes. Now you have two choices. You have Flashpoint 10.1 Ultimate or 10.1 Infinity. What is the difference? File size. Infinity is only 715 megabytes, 3 gigabytes when extracted, and it will increase the more games you download. Ultimate is 766 gigabytes and 874 gigabytes when extracted. The entire collection available offline for uh, archivists and data hoarders. Provided both as a torrent and as a direct download via our mirror. Basically, if you want all the games that they have available already downloaded, you go with Ultimate. If you're only looking to play a couple games here and there, you have to download them first using Infinity. So, we'll go ahead, we'll download Infinity first. There we go, it's starting to download. You can't see it because I've gotten rid of this thing, but it's down. It's going to take it a hot second. My internet's not that great. Now, with the file downloaded, we have Flashpoint uh, 1. Point, we have 10.1 Infinity as an EXE, which we're going to obviously open. No, we're just going to leave it there, not do anything with it. Good job, guys. Tell it wherever the hell you want to extract it. It doesn't really matter. That's up to you, not me. And then wait for the process to be completed. All right, with everything extracted, now we can open up the folder and open up Infinity. As soon as my potato of a PC decides it wants to work. There we go.
Oh, there's the EXE. I'm stupid. Be blinded by the majestic uh, that is Flashpoint as it opens up. Disable or enable, it's up to you. It really doesn't make a difference. Now we just gotta wait for Flashpoint to load up. There we go. I was like, can I make this smaller so it fits inside of my <laughs> inside of my window? Again, first time you get it, it will actually take a while for it to load because it is processing everything that it's got. I think it even says that on its website. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't really. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have access to anything at its uh, at its disposal. But you may be asking, but how do we play the game then? Well, it's a good thing it has this handy dandy search function right here. So all we gotta do, Teen Titans. There we go. And we've got all of these games here. Actually, I'm going to stretch this out more so I can see all the titles. I don't know what game that is. That looks pretty dope, though. Yeah, fun fact. Oh, that's Teen Titans Go. No. Oh. I'm less I'm less thrilled now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there were a lot of Teen Titans games. A lot of them were Teen Titans Go. Okay, here we go. We've got Teen Titans Battle Blitz right here. And then what you gotta do? Double click. And then wait for my potato PC to catch up with everything. Because it's still trying to click on other stuff. See, it's still like loading the other games I've clicked on. This isn't Infinity's problem, this is just my PC. My PC is slow. There we go, we've got a window now that's popped up. It will take it a hot second. It has to download the game the first time you are playing. If you do not have an internet connection, you do need to have that. But once the game is downloaded and you play it for the first time, you can play it offline as much as you want. There we go, just so you guys can hear me. And from there, it runs perfectly fine. Controls, what is it? Z and X. All right. So yeah, from there, works perfectly fine. I don't remember how to do anything. Eh. Ah, God. Yeah, there we go. It's P for pause. Okay, it's a left, left, right. But yeah, there we go. Perfectly fine. You can just hit escape when you're done playing it. And now, if I ever want to play that again, 
I just gotta load it up again. And fucking works like a charm. There you go. You now have access to Teen Titans Battle Blitz or any other game that they honestly have on here. They've got a shit ton. Like, more than I could possibly describe. If you're thinking of trying to look up old, like, let's, let's, let's use another example. Um, well, let's get rid of this. Let's, Tsunami. Let's do this. Again, wait for everything to load. There we go. Oh, man, we've got the old, uh, Tsunami lockdown. Let's get this one. If you're old enough to remember what Toonami Lockdown was. Skin is being mounted. Please wait. That's just a technical term, meaning it's being loaded into the program, basically. And there we go again. Screen. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine on here, too. Yeah, this runs perfectly fine if you want to relive uh, other childhood memories. But yeah, that's the power of infinity. Hopefully this tutorial has encompassed everything. Uh, has encompassed everything that you need to know about this thing. And I've shown off everything you need to do for it. If you're still confused by the options or are still confused by the descriptions and everything, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I've tried to be as thorough as possible. A link to the uh, Infinity, uh, or I keep saying Infinity, that's not actually what it's called. Infinity is just the type. Uh, a link to the Flashpoint webpage will be provided both in the description and also in the pinned comment. I cannot stress that enough. Don't ask where the link is when it's three inches down from where you made that comment. Nothing irritates me more. So yes, I will be leaving it there for you all to find. Hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully you guys stop asking me stupid questions. Until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.